Hey everybody, so I have three chickens here that I am going to can. So I'm going to break them down and I'm going to can the legs, the breast. I'm going to freeze the uh, wings. I'm going to make chicken broth. So I'm going to break these down. You don't want to see it. It'll probably be ugly and messy. I've got my no pocket apron on and I'm just going to get to butchering these up and then we'll come back and start putting them in a jar. What I put in the stock pot when the chicken's cooked, I'm going to pull it back out and take the meat off. Sorry. Take the meat off and then put the bones back in. So. I'll be back when I got these all cut up. It's gonna get messy. Okay, you guys, so here's my chicken. And I'm going to do it really easy. So, I'm going to put legs and thighs in the jar. Now bone-in chicken doesn't take as long as deboned chicken. Pints are 65 minutes, quarts are 75. And then the breast I'm going to chunk up. Now the legs I put I put them up and down, so one down and one up. I rotate them so they all fit. And this has all been washed really well. These gloves are hard to work with. I don't know if you can see everything. One, two, three, four, five. Should have to one more leg in here. And six. So, here's all my legs. They go up and down and up and down, and they can fit five to six legs in a quart jar, depending on how big they are. Pulling the skin off of the thighs. And just putting them in a jar. You do not add liquid to raw pack. I'm going to drain and rinse this again. got our legs and thighs done. Now I'm going to cut the meat off of the breasts and stuff them into jars. And when you wash your chicken use some salt. And you can render this skin for schmaltz and use the cracklins for doggy treats. I 
couldn't find my other gloves and these are very hard to work with. I'll put the bones in the stock pot. And we are raw packing today because that's the easiest way. Cut it into whatever size chunks you want. You could put the whole breast in there if you want to. This is more work than buying chicken cut up, but if you can find whole chickens on sale, I would totally do it. Well, I am totally doing it. A wishbone. anything you don't want. And when you start your broth with all these bones, when the chicken's cooked, you can pull them out, take off the chicken, and then put the bones back in your broth. So that's all I'm going to do. So I will see you when I'm done with this. Okay, here's all our jars filled up. This is three chickens, you guys, minus the, the wings. Doesn't look like much, does it? You wanna clean these rims really well with vinegar. tip tight and I have some hamburger I can add to this I'll be back okay so remember bone-in chicken is shorter times than raw pack boneless chicken so the times for a quart of bone-in is the same time as pints of raw pack chunk meat. And you can look that up in your books. It's all there. So you're going to match up the, the V on your... Can we see that? The V on your lid to the V on your handle. going to turn it on. This will pop up. This will vent after it's vented for 10 minutes. 
add your weight when the weight starts to come to a gentle rock set your timer 75 minutes pints 90 minutes quarts for raw pack regular meat 65 minutes pints 75 minutes quarts for bone in meat if you do like I did and it's all the same time you can mix it up so I will see you all when this is coming out I'm going to add water to my bones over here and some seasonings and get my broth started Okay, you guys, our chicken is done. I've taken the lid off. Whenever you take the lid off your canner, always, always, always away from your face. We have our schmaltz going over here for cooking oil, so to speak, cooking fat and doggy treats. So here's our jar of thighs. our legs see we did not add any liquid and look at all that liquid in there don't worry if the tops aren't covered that's just the way it is and those thighs are completely covered and these are our chicken breast And there we go five more jars of meat well six with that hamburger in there uh, for the pantry and I'll get a few meals out of each one of these jars so there we go ugly chicken raw pack chicken isn't pretty but it is tasty and I'm going to do some recipes uh, with this chicken I want to do one that I think everybody will like really well with the chicken legs. A lot of people don't know what to do with the chicken legs. So um, I also want to say that March 1st, um, the United States, the truckers will be doing the same thing that's going on up in Canada. So they're going from west to east. So if you haven't stocked your pantries, please stock your pantries. And... Uh, a judge made them give the fuel back up in Canada so I guess that's that's a good thing um, I am supportive of people having their you know rights to choose I mean not everybody can do the same medication that should be kind of a given so anyways I mean I don't do politics on this channel I just I mean my political opinion means nothing I just support everyone's freedom that's all I mean it's America and um, yeah I just wanted to share that and uh, I hope you all are preparing don't get stuck without anything because you know if, if stuff's not moving things won't get on the shelves so you want to be taken care of and your fur babies taken care of and your children taken care of and your birds and whatever you have so anyways you all stay safe stay healthy and I will see you in the next video